Okay, then here I'm going to talk about example of further idea generation for generation mechanism. So uh, I'm going to explain uh, how you may perform further idea generation for generation mechanism. Uh, so far you have uh, completed redefining your program uh, as a combination of known conflicts and unknown conflicts. Uh, what I'm saying is that uh, you may uh, generate some of the ideas uh, of hypotheses which is belong to category 1 by further performing function analysis um, on, the, on the functions related to negative state in which is recognized as known conflict. So uh, by using the template, um, if we introduce system or uh, negative state is generated because component uh, action component. So this is the template of idea which we are going to generate by performing uh, further function analysis uh, on the known conflict. So you may perform uh, further function analysis about uh, unknown conflict, but so because this is already a known conflict, uh, even if you perform further further function analysis, well, only uh, unknown things is generated. I'm not sure it's up to you whether you could do this, but from my opinion, I don't think there is uh, much of meaning. So now uh, let me confirm that uh, the situation, uh, current situation of pro program definition uh, of the uh, problem of residential building. So firstly, we have defined the program as if we introduce residential building, it can shelter a person from wind and rain, but it is dangerous when earthquake hits. Then through the analysis, um, the through the redefinition of the problem. Now uh, this problem uh, is transformed into a combination of smaller conflicts. I don't think I need to read through all of them now. Um, now what I'm saying is we may perform a further perform function analysis um, on some of uh, some of the functions included in these conflicts uh, by using exploiting the idea of 40 inventable principles. Then now uh, we are going to focus on this uh, conflict. Uh, so you may perform a similar thing uh, on the other conflict as well, but probably it takes time. But uh, I just choose uh, this conflict as an example. Then uh, let me explain how you may apply uh, 40 inventive principles. So, so we are now performing function analysis from the viewpoint of how we may cause this function, uh, ground moves base. So what I mean is um, we are trying to uh, we are trying to explain this function uh, by using realistic resources. So what I'm asking you to do is think about how we could cause this function by using available resources, which means realistic resources. So, so this is, uh, you should notice that uh, thinking about uh, developing a rational explanation about something may be a kind of innovation. So uh, as I have explained, uh, you should start uh, function analysis with the following viewpoints. The breaking down the function considering space or time or condition. Then now, uh, as an example, uh, I just uh, want to introduce what happened, mm, what I actually I have come up with with respect to the viewpoint of space by using 40 inventive principles. Uh, considering space, uh, so the recommended uh, 40 inventive principles are these, and I looked through each of them and came up with some of the idea for for example, by applying segmentation, uh, the base can be divided into concrete and steel frame. If the frame is rusty over a long time, it may be dangerous when an earthquake hits. Or well, the ground can also be divided into several layers. If the base is on a soft layer, the shaking may become intense. Or, yeah, let me introduce uh, another example from uh, principle number 17, another dimension. The shaking should have a vertical and horizontal movement. Either of them may have a serious impact. So it's really intuitive, but 
after defining a problem, a specific problem, and just referring seeing OB 40 inventive principles, or you could generate a lot of ideas like this. Then uh, let me uh, transform uh, what we have obtained uh, through the idea generation process. So let us put uh, the results of the idea generation in the results of function analysis. Uh, this is uh, further. This is the result of uh, further performed function analysis. So you can see that uh, some of the functions has been broken down in more details uh, thanks to the support of 40 inventive principles. Then uh, the red colored functions, uh, unknown functions, which is generated from a known function in in the defined initially defined conflict. So. So I mean, what I would like to say here is find the functions, which means new hypotheses that need to be verified, uh, are also new idea. So if you, if we think uh, these functions may be a significant reason why the problem is happening, we may explore uh, to verify uh, these things are actually happening. So now let me uh, confirm that. Uh, these ideas, uh, actually hypotheses, uh, generated uh, thanks to 40 inventive principles by using the template uh, to define the idea of hypothesis. So if we introduce system negative state generated because component acts on component. So exploiting by using this template, we could say uh, if we introduce residential viewing, it is dangerous when earthquake hits uh, the up down movement base move space uh, is unknown, and left right movement of ground moves base, which is also unknown, and sp small repetitive movement of ground moves base, unknown, blah, blah, blah. So, so these things are um, just hypotheses, but we may verify as a part of the uh, research thing. Uh, this is the result of idea generation in this session. And so you may further perform function analysis exploiting 40 inventive principles on the basis of time condition, the part and the whole lower order system, higher order system. So you may generate further a uh, much, much larger number of ideas, uh, which is hypothesis. Also, you need to select a good one, but so I would like you to notice that uh, with respect to this methodology, you can generate much of ideas. Okay, this is all for this session. Thank you for listening.